is what I was looking for. English mace. Okay. Let's continue on. So back to what you were saying. I was there on the raid to steal back those horses and, uh, well... You know something of Dutch, I think. Yes, a little. Mostly from your friend Charles. I don't know why Dutch is getting involved in your situation, and... This ain't easy to say, but... I just don't trust that he's got your son's best interests at heart. So what can we do? I don't rightly know. Charles and I just thought you should be aware. Maybe there's a way to stop things from getting any more out of control. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Let me give this some thought. Be careful. There are some steep turns up ahead. But the views are beautiful from up here. You know, I had a son once, years ago. Don't talk about him much. No, oh, what was his name? Isaac. Wait, stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. We can talk more about this later. <laughs> this will combine well. Wait there. I'll put these in your saddlebag. Mix these together. They taste awful. But it'll help to keep your strength up. All right, let's go. It's not much further now. Now, I was saying something. Oh, yeah. Isaac. His mother, Eliza, was a waitress I met. When she got pregnant, she, she knew who I was, what my life was. I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but I said I'd do right by them. Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good kid. She was too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid, 19. What happened? I got there one day and saw two crosses outside. I knew right away. Turned out some bastards had come through. Robbed them, shot them dead. And offered ten dollars. It hardened me, feeling that kind of pain. But I know now that you don't get to live a bad life and have good things happen to you. I think you're being hard on yourself. Maybe. All I can do now is try and make some things right. Signed here from a regiment in the north. Apparently, the news of our conflict has spread all the way to Washington. He's a good man. He wants to help. Well, I guess that's something, at least. The army aren't all bad men. Just as my people aren't all good. But this Colonel Favors, he walks an old line. He's obstinate, and he hates Monroe. I just hope between us we can work this out. It's just up ahead. What's happened? No! It can't be! No! They 
and destroyed everything. Now I need to find the Chinupa. Who, who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Help me look around, please. The Chinupa. Of course. What is it? A uh, ceremonial pipe. There must be some clues to what happened here. Sure looks like they was doing some drinking. I see no end to any of this. Take a look at this. An empty bottle of whiskey. Well, if they drank all that, they couldn't have gotten too far. Yeah, well, still no sign of the Chinupa. You're having a party up here. Look there, smoke. Mr. Morgan, there's someone down there. I found something. Do you have any binoculars? Favors men. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But. But I hope we were past this. Now you got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. Now they've taken the last hope. Now my people are going to want a war. A war they can't win. Not if I get it back. Get it back? Yeah, I'm gonna go in, get your chin up, and no one will be any the wiser. Would you do that? Well, you can't go. They know why you'd come. I, uh... Don't have any money. Nah, I don't need your money. 